it's Lickin' Brats, a.k.a. Dom. I am a little congested. I've been congested a bit for the past week now, which has been annoying. I don't know what's up with me, but <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna get through it. I, I I just wanted to make a video of like the random stuff I've bought in the past week. I got a lot of it today. There's some things that I bought when I last saw my friends. I think that was like almost two weeks ago now and I found the Penny Proud doll for six bucks at Target. And I was like, you know, I'm on the doll pause, but I'm also if it's a good deal, I feel like I can't pass it up. I feel like under $10 is really good for her. And I've been wanting this doll. I feel like she's been out for a good year now. I've been wanting her for a while. And I've just, like, I didn't want to pay $20 for her, honestly. And I'm glad I got her for $6. And I am going to keep her in the box. I really loved The Proud Family growing up. I haven't seen the reboot, to be honest. But I think it's really cool that they're getting, like, merch and toys and all of that. So I really wanted this Penny Proud doll. And she's actually, like, really cute. Like, really... She looks like she's well-made. And I am I love that. So, yeah. I'm, I'm a little... I can't say, like, shocked. But I'm a little disappointed that the toys don't seem to be doing well from the Proud family. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if the show... Like, I don't know how popular the show is now. Like, it was definitely popular when I was growing up, but I don't know how the reboot has been going. I think it just had a second season, so I guess it had to be doing relatively well. And I don't know, maybe I have to watch the reboot soon. But moving on, I've had this thing for like a month, and I don't... I, I feel like I just bought it, and I didn't even, like, I wasn't thinking... Like, not that I wasn't thinking, because I, like, consciously, like, knew what I was doing, but... I got the Disney Princess Royal color reveal, and I was just really intrigued because I was like, I I like the idea of the color reveals from Barbie, but I've never done one. And I I have like a, a color reveal dream Ella, who I just I she's I left her like with the the paint on her because I thought she looked really cool that way. But I think I'm just gonna open this up and just see like. I w I'm curious to know, like, which princess I got. And I've had this for a while now. I want to say I've had it for almost a month. And I do want to get one of the Disney princess dolls from Mattel. Like, one of the new ones. But, I don't know. It's just hasn't... It's not a priority at the moment. There's instructions here. I've never done one of these color reveals before. So, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I think this, oh, okay, I think I know which one I got, no? Is this the one you get? Because then I, then I know which one I got, right? Yeah, so I guess it, this is Cinderella, right? I mean, I'm not mad at it, I just did not know which one I was getting. This feels like very hollow though. It almost looks cool though, like this. And it makes me question if I want to... <laughs> I kind of like the Cinderella like that. I don't know. And then what else do we have? I don't know what comes in these other packets. Yeah, this is Cinderella, right? It's a rat? The mouse? I don't know. Oh, it has fabric clothing. She has a fabric piece here. And it's a skirt, and it has the wrapped or the mouse and the birds on it. So I'm gonna assume that's Cinderella. <laughs> There's like this little pillow cushion thingy. There is a glass slipper. So it's Cinderella. And then there's a little ring, which I believe is like a for you moment. Oh wait, this is funny. <laughs> so this crown, I, I, I was looking at the instructions. The crown comes out and it's supposed to be like a crown for you. <gasps> oh my God. I'm, I don't know if I want to color reveal her. I don't know. I, I, I have Bill. I'll do it. I'll do it for the video. And I'm going to use this water bottle, my Bratz water bottle, to pour water into it. How much do I fill it up? Okay, we're going to fill her up. I didn't feel like... <coughs> crappy. 
being like a cup of water, so I just put it in my Bratz water bottle. And it's just to shake it for 30, not 30, for 45 seconds. Oh no. Okay. I gotta really secure it. It's like spilling everywhere. This is messy. I think she's almost done. Okay, let's take her out. We have like a <laughs> a pink drink. It looks very glittery though. That's cute. Oh, it's a mess. And then we get this little Cinderella. She's actually really cute, I will say. I love the face on her and I love her like little pose. It's very sassy. And not all of the paint is completely off of her. I wonder if I can... Does it smell? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine. Don't drink it. It looks very cute, though. Like, if it was drinkable, I would have drank in it. She's a little bit of a mess, though, I will say. So make sure you really have that lid on tight, because I didn't. <laughs> there goes my crown. Great transition. But yeah, my sister is pretty cute. I like her. I would get more of these. I just... I really hate blind boxes lately. Well, I've never really, like, truly liked blind boxes, but... I especially, like, I don't want to spend $10 on something. I think that was $10. I don't remember. And then just get, like, duplicates and stuff. Like, it's just not a fun time for me. Because it's money at the end of the day. So I'll settle with my one. But I had, like, a little bit, of, like, of a trip today. So I took off from work because I was, you know, doing something for home. And I decided, like, you know what? I will go to Walmart just to see what's up. So I went to Walmart, and I'm actually in pursuit of some Bratz things. Like, these... It's like a cup and a mug. Actually, a few cups and a mug. And I whatever else pops up. There's also, like, a pajama pants for brats and it's like all like licensed goods and I really want them like I really genuinely want these things but everyone else in America seems to be finding them at their local Walmarts and like every Walmart I go to has no trace of these and I don't know if like maybe they just aren't ordering them at these specific Walmarts or maybe these other places are getting them earlier but this happened last year too where a lot of licensed goods were going to Walmarts and I just I never appeared here so I don't know what was up with that and I really do want the things but I'm like if I don't get them fine like I'll be I'll be okay but also I'm like you know it would be cute like I would really like that so I don't know maybe it's just not in the cards for me and then another thing is that I really want the Primark Bratz stuff. Like, I think it's, like, really cute stuff. And I love the little pillow. And I, I love everything. But first off, I, I mean, there's a Primark near me. I just don't want to go because then I have to pay for parking. And then if I go inside and I find nothing, then I'll just be disappointed. Maybe I'll see if my friends want to go next weekend. I don't know. But also, I just don't want to, like, spend more money. So it's it's like a it's an internal struggle for me. <laughs> I mean, there are worse things that could happen. There are worse things that have happened. Like, I can live without the stuff, but it would be really cool to get a few things from these licensed collabs. And I just can't seem to find anything. And it sucks sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, I, I was thinking about going to Primark today, but I was like, do I want to pay $5 for parking? No. And then walk in, and it's probably going to be like, packed like no I don't I wasn't feeling up to it but I did end up going to another Walmart sorry I went on a tangent <laughs> but yeah I went to two Walmarts today and I walked out with like nothing and like there's like good stuff on the shelves I'm just like really restricting my buying lately and <laughs> I went to TJ Maxx which was like near Walmart and I bought a few things like self-care things for myself and then I actually did go, I, I of course checked out the dolls and I found some like cute Barbies and there was this one that I saw online like maybe a week or so ago that I thought was really cute and I'd never seen it in person. I wasn't sure where it was being sold and it's like one of those slim box dolls and she had a pink dress and it had like the Barbie logos all over it 
and I actually found her, but then I like saw her in person and I was like, I don't know, something was off about her face, but she was on clearance for $4. So I was tempted, but I said, no, like I just won't buy her. But I did find another one from the collection with a purple dress and I really did like her face up. And I, I did like her dress. So I was like, you know what? It's like $5. So I, I got her, no, no regrets about that. And like, yeah, she has like saran hair. She's like a pretty decent like looking doll. Like, she, you know, she's just like a cute little budget doll, a budget moment. I love a good budget moment. I mean, I do hate how stiff these bodies are. I think they're like not fun. I get stiff arms, but like, this is like all like hard plastic. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as fun to me. She will be, like, obviously, like, I display all of my dolls, but I don't know. I think it would have been nice for her to, like, you know, be able to, like, bend her knee and, like, do a pose or something like that. But facially, she is very cute. I mean, she's a $5 doll. And I think, honestly, for $5, she's pretty good. You know what's funny is, like, I don't know if they use the stamp method. I feel like they do use the stamp method for these dolls. And... It's, like, weird to me. Like, I don't see pixelation, so I'm, like, assuming they don't do UV. Maybe there is. I don't know. I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me because I don't see any pixelation with these dolls. But then, like, the more expensive dolls, when you go up to, like, the 10 to 25 range, are all, like, super pixelated, and I just don't understand that. While this doll was, like, $5, and, like, okay, the dress isn't, like, the best, I will say. I mean, it's cute. I do think, like, having, like, this, like... Like, the lining? Is that what I'm, like, the word I'm looking for? Is, the, like, the lining of the dress? Like, I think... Or the stitching? Stitching? Sure. I don't know. I don't know anything. I think it does look really good for the fact that she's a $5 doll. And I, I love, like, the self-reference. Like, I think that's really cute. Her forehead does look a little big when I look at it. But I'm probably gonna, like, style her hair a bit more down. But she's a pretty cute doll. And I love her shoes a lot. Like, I love these this jelly moment. So yeah, this is my little my little $5 Barbie doll. This is my little budget. Something to like tide me over, appetize me until I can like actually buy dolls more regularly again. I think I'm like really like, I'm going through some like weird withdrawals and I think this is a product of that. And something I really, really did want though. So I went to Target after I went to TJ Maxx and I found, finally, the Monster High Stitchlings, and I wanted Draculaura so bad. I think someone posted about her, like, weeks ago, and it feels like weeks ago, at least. It could have maybe been, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> but I wanted her so bad, and she's so, so cute. I love her, and I love how they, like, put actual fabric on these, and I like those, like, little, like, the, the keychain ones that they had at Walmart that were, like, five bucks. This was 13 which I will say was a little bit on the pricier side for this I would have said maybe this could have been like ten dollars, but whatever. And she talks. She repeats phrases like every so often, so you just heard her say the same phrase two times. Oh, it seems like she maybe has like three phrases. Yeah, I feel like she only has like three or four phrases. But she's a pretty cute, like I don't even care about the phrase part. I just thought, I just wanted the plush, <laughs> to be honest. And she's like super cute. And here's the tag if anyone doesn't know how to spell Stitchling because that is something that I think Mattel just made up. <laughs> but yeah, super duper cute. And the face, like, oh, I love the face. Ah. And you know, I... I think I'm just gonna get Draculaura from this because Draculaura really is my bias in this G3 reboot. Like, I love her doll so much. And I feel like I just tend to, like, get more drawn to, like, I think pink and black are, like, two of my favorite colors. And I don't know, I'm just really drawn to it. So, yeah. And she also has, like, some really cute designs. And I also got something, this is what I was actually looking for when I went, because I was looking for the Draculaura thing, of course, but then I was also looking for some of the new Super Mario Bros. movie merch. I feel like there's a lot to say at once. <laughs> and I, I wanted the new Princess Peach stuff, and I found it. I got the Princess Peach 
figure and I also got the little mini figure. This one was cheap. I want to say it was like $5 or under. And I'm just so <laughs> ecstatic that it was not a blind box because I really just wanted Princess Peach. And then this one was $20. And I'm just so happy that there is finally Princess Peach. Like, not saying like finally because there's always been Princess Peach merch, but I feel like it's always been very like sad almost. Whenever I see like Princess Peach merch, I always try to get it. And I'm just so happy. Like, I really hope they consider making even more merch with Princess Peach. I'm really shocked that Nintendo hasn't really tried to capitalize off of her. I think there's a lot of potential for the Princess Peach and also, like, Rosalina and Daisy. I think there's a lot more that can be done. And I have to say, and I made a tweet about this, and people agreed. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it again. Why are there no Princess Peach fashion dolls? Like, I feel like Princess Peach and Daisy and Rosalina, like, it could be, like, a fashion doll line. And I will say the only thing that I can think, the, think of that could stop them from that is that the hairstyle might be difficult to replicate. But even still, like, I, like, I, one thing I will say, like, I like how with Penny Proud, her hairstyle, like, it's very distinct on the show. And that they were able to translate it like this on a doll. And if there was a Princess Peach doll, I would want something similar to that. So, I, and I feel like they could pull it off. Like, I don't think it's not doable. So, I don't know what's, like, stopping them from getting a bag and putting out some dolls. Like, what's going on? And these are by Jack Specific. And I don't know if they do a lot of the other merch. I've gotten, like, a lot of, like, Hot Wheels and stuff for, like, Princess Peach, and I got, um, those, like, race cars, which are, like, a different company that do, like, specifically, like, the little, like, race cars, and this was, like, Princess Peach on a go-kart. That's really cute, and I, I just want more Princess Peach merch, and I want Princess Peach doll. Like, I want a Princess Peach fashion doll. I want it to have hair and articulation and, like, a nice, beautiful gown, even if it's, like, a collector doll. Like, all these years and there's no Princess Peach doll. Why? Why? What, what is the reason? But yeah, I'm gonna unbox these because they're cute. And this one is so tiny. Like, ridiculously tiny. And she also, like, you can see her little heels, like, imprinted on the bottom. Like, they're molded. And here is, like, the actual Princess Peach. Her head moves a lot. Does it come off? It does. <laughs> that is so weird. It's a little Princess Peach. It's like a tiny little Princess Peach. And I am a little excited to see the movie. Like, I don't know how it's going to be, what it's going to turn out like, but I'm excited to see it. I want to see it when it's in theaters. What I remember is, like, the old one, like, the one from the 90s, which is, like, it's camp. It's a campy movie. <laughs> the inside of this playset is also, like, not cute. Like, this is just useless to me. I know it's there for a reason. I'm sure kids will play with it, but for me, it just feels a little useless. Although I feel like with this, you can like maybe like build something with it, like make your own, make your own little playset with all these pieces. There was also like a little castle, like Princess Peach's castle, and I thought it was cute, but it was like forty bucks, and it comes with like, I think honestly the same little figurine. And I was like, nah, like I'm good. I'm not spending 40 bucks on that. <laughs> I also still have, I have my, like, Mario, um, racetrack, Mario Kart racetrack that I haven't opened yet, but I got that on clearance, like, during, um, right after Christmas with my friends. I'm gonna open up this Princess Peach. I would leave her in the box, but honestly, I feel like she's gonna look cuter out of the box. The eyes are so funny, though. <laughs> They're kind of creepy. Let me take it out and show you. Her eyes are a little creepy though. They kind of like follow you around in a way. But she has articulation here. She has posable uh, elbows. And her wrists only like rotate really. They can't really like pose pose. And I think, yeah, you can like take it apart if you need to. It's Princess Peach. And she also, she comes with her umbrella so that she can beat you with it. I swear, there's just dolls that always fall for no reason around here. Look, I feel like she's getting ready to, like, beat you. <laughs> yeah, here's Princess Peach. 
I'm happy there's a, like, a really cute Princess Peach figurine. I feel like we don't see that often. I should say figure. It's not really a figurine if we're getting technical. But she's pretty cute. I do, I do like her. I like her. Get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, that's really it for this haul. Oh, I did go to Family Dollar. Because I, I saw Family Dollar on the way back from Target going to my house. And I was like, I haven't been to Family Dollar in a minute. Let me just see what's in there. There wasn't much. They had a bunch of Barbie fashionistas, but they were kind of like... They were $10, but like above retail price. But they had this little OMG activity pad. So I bought this. And this was a dollar. And it's really cute. I love licensing. I love licensed merch. And I do have quite a bit of licensed merch from OMG. I thought this was a sticker. I didn't realize this was printed on. So now everyone's gonna know you got this for a dollar. But it covers like this part. This is coloring activity pad. I mean, it says it on the other side, but still, I think that's whatever. But it's cute. Yeah, that's it for my haul. It's kind of like not the most exciting, but I just wanted to film it and I wanted to like, you know, say hey. <laughs> and you know, I just, I, I like sharing like all the different things that I get. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like just sitting down, chatting with me a bit. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more doll content. And make sure to check me out on all socials at Lickin' Brats, hold the G, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and check out LickinBrats.com. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye. Wait, I completely lied. I actually did buy a few more things and I just, I forgot, I forgot. I have a box. Here's my box. And I, <laughs> it's the most random purchase. And honestly, I don't even like fully remember what the dolls look like. This was definitely a random impulse. And I don't know why it's wrapped like this. Like I, I don't like the paper wrapping. Okay, I'm making sure I don't expose myself. I don't like the paper wrapping like this. Like this is a priority box. They could have just, sent it like this they didn't have to wrap it i get like for extra security but it just ends up being like extra work for me to open it okay <laughs> this person vacuum sealed these dolls hey i got these like weird brats knockoffs like they just looked so funny to me so i bought them <laughs> but this person vacuum sealed it in like a vacuum seal bag for food but here are these like weird little brats oh and her head just girl come on get it together she heard that it's a friday night and she wants to get wild she's these are so funny looking i can't here why did i buy it why did i buy it that was really that was an impulse impulse purchasing and she has her friend she a baddie with her baddie friend <laughs> yeah this is this is this is my life. This is what I've sub I've succumbed to. I've this is what I've succumbed succumb to. Thanks for watching. Bye.